Iran State TV said 100 drones were being kept in the heart of the Zagros Mountains, including the Abel 5 which it said were fitted with Keen 9 missiles, an Iranian-made version of air to surface U.S. Hellfire. No doubt the drones of Islamic Republic of Iran's armed forces are the region's most powerful, Major Gen Masarvi said. Our capability to upgrade drones is unstoppable. The state TV correspondent said he was taken blindfolded to the drone base in a 45-minute helicopter flight from Kermansha in western Iran. Iran has long claimed to have underground missile bases across the country and along its coast. The report of its drone base comes amid heightened tension in the Gulf region following Iran's taking of two Greek flag tankers on Friday. Iran said its Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corporation Navy seized the tankers for violations in Gulf waters. The action followed its threat earlier in the day to take punitive action following a U.S. confiscation of an Iranian oil tanker in Greek waters. Iran is said to be supplying drones to its regional proxies including Lebanese militant group Hezbollah, the Houthi rebels in Yemen and paramilitaries in Iraq. Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz last November revealed the existence of Iranian drone bases that he said were being used to launch attacks at sea. One is near the port of Jabehar in Iran's Sistan and Balochistan province, and the other on Keshm Island, just off the coast of the Iranian mainland, he said. Mr. Gantz had said earlier that Iran also had a drone base in Kashan, north of the city of Isfahan, that was used to train Iranian proxies. General Bakari made the remarks during a visit to a secret underground drone base of the army on Saturday. He hailed the drone capabilities of the Iranian army. General Bakari underlined the significance of drones in defending the country's interests and said that they have found a special place in different defensive, offensive, land, sea, air and air defense areas. Noting that deterrence is not possible with old methods and equipment and requires new methods, he said that the drones that we saw today can play such a role. General Bakari also underscored that Iran will never underestimate any threat. The Iranian army on Saturday unveiled a new cruise missile with a range of 200 kilometers fired from drones. The new achievements were unveiled during a visit by General Bakari to an army-owned secret drone base on Saturday. During his visit, the Haider 1 cruise missile and Haider 2 cruise drone were unveiled by the Army of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Haider 1 cruise missile has a range of 200 kilometers, and its speed at the moment of hitting the target is 1,000 kilometers per hour. It is the first cruise missile capable of being firing by a drone. Iran has made great progress in developing different drones and missiles, and has been able to export them to other countries. Earlier this month, General Bakari and Tajik Defense Minister General Shirali Mirzo inaugurated a plant in Tajikistan to manufacture Iran-made Abel-2 drones in the Central Asian country. The Abel-2 of production plant was inaugurated in the Tajik capital of Dushan. In order to strengthen and develop joint defense and military cooperation between the two countries, the plant was inaugurated in the presence of a group of Iranian and Tajik officials. Addressing the ceremony, General Bakari said that the Islamic Republic of Iran, with the efforts of its committed specialists and scientists, and by using its internal capacities, has been able to make a significant growth in all military and defense dimensions, especially production of drones. Today we are in a position that we can export military equipment to allied and friendly countries in addition to meeting domestic needs in order to increase security and lasting peace," he said. The unveiling of the drone comes at a time of mounting tensions with the United States, which have escalated since last year, when U.S. President Donald Trump unilaterally withdrew from a 2015 nuclear deal signed between Iran and world powers, Al Jazeera pointed out. Washington has since reimposed sanctions to strangle the Iranian economy as part of a pressure campaign to force Tehran to negotiate a new agreement. Iranian leaders say they are open for dialogue if the sanctions are lifted and the U.S. returns to the nuclear deal. 
On July 18, 2019, U.S. troops aboard an amphibious assault ship forced down an Iranian drone over the Strait of Hormuz. The downing comes just a few weeks after Iranian forces downed an American drone in the same area. U.S. President Donald Trump said the unmanned aerial vehicle threatened USS Boxer. Pentagon spokesman Jonathan Hoffman told The New York Times that Boxer was in international waters at the time of the incident. The drone closed within a threatening range before Boxer took action.